Welcome to my new series in which I recreate one of my most favorite buildings in the whole world, Phantom Manor, from Disneyland Paris. Uh, anyone who watches my channel knows very well that I absolutely adore spooky and haunted architecture and haunted houses, and Phantom Manor, for me, is by far my most favorite. It is the most inspiring uh, building probably ever for me. I, I love Second Empire architecture because of Phantom Manor, and I really was so shocked when I went to Disneyland as a young kid and I was expecting just a normal haunted mansion and what I got was the most uh, beautiful building I had ever seen in a long time uh, one of these beautiful haunted house buildings I'd ever seen and it really suckered me in with the story and with the ambience and all this and I became literally obsessed with this building uh, and also the reason why I'm doing uh, this new series I don't worry about my haunted house asylum I'm continuing with it but I'm getting to the point where it's becoming very boring and, and monotonous and I have to change so many things that what I've decided to myself is to do something fun, something that I enjoy and something that I've been meaning to do since this game came out. Uh, up until now, it wasn't actually possible to recreate this building, but um, now I'm happy to announce that with all these new uh, features and things that we've been added, it's actually incredibly easy, um, for me at least. Um, following. Uh, like a plan of a building, following a photograph, or you know, doing a study, I call it, of a building, it is incredibly easy because you just follow directions. It's like getting a Lego box and then you decide, oh, well, this looks like this and you put it there. For me, it's an easier task than building something from my imagination. But sometimes building something from my imagination is, is so much more fun than creating a study. And in fact, on my channel, I think the only other study of a building I've done is, is Dom Toren in Utrecht. And for a while, I've been wanting to do some studies of things, but it hasn't really been possible, but until now. And um, so what I am doing is I'm going to recreate all of the haunted mansions that you find in Disneyland, and then probably recreate lots of other haunted houses um, famous haunted houses like the Amityville Horror House and uh, Norman Bates's Manor from Psycho. You know, iconic haunted houses. And if, if you have any suggestions of really cool uh, haunted architecture or things that I could build, please let them, please let me know. Um, because I can, I can chunk out these episodes much quicker than I can something creative like the Haunted Asylum. But don't worry, the Haunted Asylum is still being made. <laughs> I just need a little bit of a break and something new to keep my channel going because I have become uh, very busy lately and now I just need to make sure I have more episodes so I don't disappoint all the people who subscribe to me because you guys are the reason I continue uploading. <laughs> um, so what will we see in this episode of Phantom Manor being recreated? Well, more or less the basic shape, the basic shape of the building I was trying to recreate. I made, I create my, <laughs> sorry about that, <laughs> I created my own custom walls because the wooden paneled walls just didn't look right and you can't set the color. Um, the problem with this uh, is that it makes the, the pieces way more than a thousand pieces for this building. Um, the good thing about that is I have sort of realized there is a sort of workaround to the workshop limit. Um, this building does exist in the workshop, but it is around, I think it's around 1,700 pieces. So um, what I have done is I've split the building in half and I've separated the stairs. I will add a link in the description if you want to download this yourself. It is not too difficult to put it together because I have made it so you just line up some wooden panels. It's actually self-explanatory. That being said, regardless, I will be posting a video at the very end with the walkthrough telling you how to put the building together. So I think this uh, series will be about four or five episodes long, so it's not too long, and then I will move on. I've already recreated something else that I can't wait to show you, um, which will come in due time <laughs> after this, is, this series is done, um, which is another recreation of something that you may recognize. I'm not gonna spoil it completely. I'm not gonna tell you until maybe, I, I might some, drop some hints later on in the next episode, but I, I hope you guys won't be disappointed. I think uh, it, it will be great for some American people out there. Some American fans will really like that, hopefully. Hopefully. Um, so, um, what else can I talk about? Well, yeah, so basically, the basic shape of the building is being done, some trial and errors, and reworking how to, how to do things, and getting the roof shapes done. Um, and then I go on to the next episode, you'll see more details being added. Um, and the details are subject to being changed quite a lot. There were, there were a lot of things I needed to work out. Um, as you can see, the railing I'm working on now that goes ar around the roof, that was changed several times. There was some more detailing added to that that really added some extra oomph, I thought, um, because as of before, 
I was just going to leave it with that line going around it. So I kept on being really faffy and adding so much stuff to it um, because I was really getting carried away and I, and I really decided that I could just keep making it more and more realistic. There was a, there was a stage where I thought oh, I wouldn't look good enough but then I was like nope it has to be as well recreated as humanly possible. So that was basically what I was trying to do with this build. So I hope, um, well after the detailing's done then there comes the lighting. I did try to recreate the queue area but it was kind of pointless and I decided to stop that because the the queue paths were too big for what I liked. They got in the way too much and there was nowhere for the queue to go. There's absolutely no rides or services inside this building. It's purely aesthetic. So I gave up on that idea. I did a lot of landscaping and the la and well, I have to I'm so happy with the availability of the trees in this game. They literally have exactly the right trees uh, <laughs> for uh, Phantom Manor's garden. They have literally a, a version of every tree that I saw in the sculpting, uh, in the landscape. So that was great. Um, it was annoying also I didn't build the queue area, mainly because I couldn't find a good photograph of it online. I really looked uh, again and again, and I understand that most people didn't want to photograph the queue area. But the queue area... I don't know. Sorry, my voice is going crazy, but the queue area is actually incredibly beautiful um, and I would have recreated it probably without a queue, a real queue inside because it wouldn't have been possible, but I would have recreated it had I had found a good picture. So if you guys have good pictures of the queue area, like something that I can actually make a model from, uh, don't hesitate to send it to me and I will see if I can actually recreate that too. But in the end, it deci I decided that it, it wasn't really working. I wanted to make it, you know, the outside uh, pathway areas as accurate as I could, and I decided against that because there was little point. Um, I mean, I had an idea that they could have this sort of like rabbit hole haunted house ride with just an entrance and an exit, and you plunk it down, and then they walk into the building you've created, and you don't see the inside, and then you plunk it out, and they walk out. I mean, that's kind of lame. I mean, but it would be cool just for things like this. Um, or, you know, a sort of, you know, they have Haunted House Dark Rides that you sort of go around with a, with a Omnimover kind of thing. But they also have these walkthrough Haunted Houses, and maybe you can sort of have these set rooms you can build and edit, and then you stick them all together and then build a building around it. I mean, it's not Planet Haunted House, it's Planet Coaster, but <laughs> I have been wanting to recreate uh, Dark Rides a lot, and Haunted House Dark Rides, and I, that, that idea came into my head. I don't think it's that incredible, that idea, but maybe you guys like I don't know. I don't know, and I digress. So, I think I'm going to leave it there, and I'll see you in part two, where more detailing will be added. I add some roof windows that I really love, and I add the tower roof, and then it goes on to some lighting. So, I will see you then. Bye for now.
for watching this video and if you want to see more you can click in one of these boxes and it will lead you to more of my videos and if you haven't done so already subscribe and if you I don't know what else to say well that's it so yeah enjoy